Okay, today's story seven out of seven in Mo Willems' Pigeon series. It's titled, The Pigeon Has to Go to School. Come on. I know that's where we all want to be, so today I just want you guys to enjoy the story. Okay, have fun with it. Afterwards, we'll do one more directed draw and I'll give you guys the directions on what you need to do to complete your pages for our digital book. Okay, let's enjoy. The pigeon has to go to school. Come on. Wait! Don't read that title! The pigeon has to go to school. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. Too late. Rats. Why do I have to go to school? I already know everything. Go on. Ask me a question. Any question? Well, I know almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning. It is not pretty. I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty, not going to school, baby wavy pigeon. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really, really don't like it? What if... What if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff. What about all the stuff? There is so much stuff to learn. What if I learn too much? My head might pop up. What will happen at school? What if there is math or numbers? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one big eye. What about lunch? What will the other birds think of me? Will finger paint stick to my feathers? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The 
unknown stresses me out, dude. There should be a place to practice those things with ex experts to help you and books and other birds to work and play with and classrooms maybe a playground Oh, that is school. Well, how am I supposed to get there anyway? What was it? What was what was what? He gets to ride the Step aside! Coming through! The pigeon has to go to school! And that's the end. He's at school with all his friends. Hey, little ducklings there. Okay. We're going to do a directed draw now that's going to be our layout for the book we're going to make. I'll show you how you have to draw it, and then you guys get to play around with the pigeon, how he looks, though. Um, you're also going to need that setting of where he wants to go. After that, I'll also give you the email address that you guys can send those um, pages into, and we'll make that digital book. Did you know? The Pigeon Wants Out. That's going to be the title of the story we're going to write together. I'm going to show you guys now how to draw the pages, and write your words for the wor um, book we're going to make. You're going to need two pieces of paper. Okay, so you don't want them hot dog the long ways, you want them hamburger the tall ways, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to have them, and you're going to need to draw your pigeon over in this area, and you're going to leave word room for some writing, and then you're going to leave this whole other page for a setting of where the pigeon wants to go. You've been thinking about that for a while. So let's go ahead and draw our first picture, okay? So we're going to draw the pigeon. We're going to start off. We can do the hand head here. And you can do an eye in it. Okay, give him a little bit bigger eye. Give it triangle beak. Okay, he's got his long neck, the collar that we don't color in. Go ahead and go and give him his nice long body, curved tail back there. Give him his wing in here. We'll have him call someone over, so we'll put that and then curve that around. Get his legs and his feet. Okay. Remember, if you do a little bit of curved lines here and here, it looks like a little bit of movement, maybe. So now we've got our pigeon. Remember to color him in. The only place we don't color in is inside the eyes and inside the collar. Color in your pigeon. We're going to have him thinking of where he wants to go. So that's going to be a thought bubble. So we're going to do some little circles here. We're going to get these little circles to get us over to this other page where I want you to make a nice big cloud all the way around the outside. Okay? That's going to be your border for your thought of where the pigeon wants to go. Inside here, you're going to draw your setting of where the pigeon wants to go. I'm not going to draw anything in there. You need to use your imaginations and get that setting in there. Be an artist. You guys can do it. It's going to look amazing. Then we come back over here and we're going to write some words for the pigeon to say. Remember when we're writing a sentence, we got four parts to remember. We're going to start with an uppercase letter. We're going to make sure we write neatly so other people can read it. 
spaces between our words, and then we have to end with punctuation. Okay, we've talked about all of that stuff in class. If you haven't, just remember those four things. So it's going to start with I space want. Come back to the beginning. To space go space to and then you need to finish off the sentence. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Where did you draw? What were you thinking this whole time? And remember, end with punctuation. I bet you that pigeon's going to be yelling it with that exclamation point. Finally, now that you've got that done, go ahead and draw your talking bubble around your words. We'll get this done. You guys can play around with the way you want your pigeon to look. Okay, I have him calling over, but maybe you can have him a little bit more screaming and frightened. I want to go to end with your punctuation. Okay. That was the last in Mo Willems' pigeon series. The pigeon has to go to school. We did our directed draw, though, on how to continue the series. The pigeon wants out. And that's how you're going to send it to me. You're going to send it to me. I need mom or dad, grandma or grandpa, someone to take a nice good picture of it. Each page separately. Take a picture of each page separately and email it to thepigeonwantsout at gmail.com. I'll put that email address up so you can see it. Um, take a really clear picture. So some of your families, you guys can send it to me on Remind. Um, that's fine. But otherwise, thepigeonwantsout at gmail.com. Let's keep the series going. Bye.